Hi, welcome to the Amy Noel on Dyslexia YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that relates to autism because one of my sons was recently diagnosed with autism. As I said in my video about comorbidity with dyslexia, sometimes autism and dyslexia overlap. Today's video is about how to get into a regional center. What are regional centers? I'm going to read this off the computer. Regional centers are private, independent, nonprofit corporations, each one covering a different geographic area, contracted by the state through the Department of Developmental Services to coordinate lifelong services and supports for people with developmental disabilities and their families. Regional centers are available in most states in the United States. Eligibility for a regional center is based on the existence of significant functional limitations in three or more of the following major life activities. A. Communication, which involves receptive or expressive language. B. Learning. C. Self-care. D. Mobility. E. Self-direction, which is like behavior and choices, F, capacity for independent living, and G, economic self-sufficiency. Some of the qualifying disabilities for regional centers are intellectual disability, cerebral palsy, autism, epilepsy, and Down syndrome. If you or your child might have one of these and you want to apply to a regional center for services, you don't need to already have a diagnosis. Jacob did not have a diagnosis when we applied. When you apply, you need to include as many documents as possible, at least 10, I would say, that show that you or the person you're applying for has one of these disabilities and that you're impaired in at least three of those categories that I mentioned at the beginning. These need to be official pieces of evidence that you would show like in a court hearing. They could be things like medical records, texts, emails, journal entries, letters, school records, court records, and photographs, things like that. Most of the pieces of evidence I got were from medical records. So I'm going to put a link in the description to medical conditions that relate to autism. I got anything about chronic ear in infections, eczema, things like with the suppressed immune system, anything that related to him being accident prone, he broke a lot of bones. If you're older than 18, you need to show some evidence from before you were 18 because eligibility is based on the condition arising before you were 18. I'll also put a link in the description for the symptoms of autism. You can try to find documents that support those symptoms in yourself. Some of the medical records that I also included were speech evaluations because Jacob has acceptive and receptive language delay, documents about ADHD, depression, and anxiety. Based on your evidence and your application, they may offer you an assessment. What happened for us was that I did not submit a lot of evidence at the beginning. They denied Jacob's application, so I contested their decision and applied for a hearing. But before we actually went to the hearing, I submitted like 36 pieces of evidence and then they offered me an assessment. So maybe if I had done that in the beginning, they would have offered an assessment from the get-go. So this whole process took months and then once they offered the assessment, we had to wait a couple months to actually get in to the psychologist. Then we went to the psychologist, we got the diagnosis, the psychologist was contracted by the regional center, so they automatically sent that diagnosis and evaluation to the regional center. Then the regional center reached out to us and said that they would be assigning us a caseworker soon, and they gave us dates for a virtual orientation, which we attended. We got a document saying that he received his caseworker about a month later. This video is not all about what regional centers do. I really think that the regional center services can be very beneficial to people with developmental disorders. I hope this video was helpful, and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day.